Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play you Planksty Irwin. <laughs> This tune was written by Turlow O'Carolan and he was a blind Irish harper in the 18th century and uh, he wrote a whole lot of tunes um, which are called Planksties and a Planksty isn't a, uh, a waltz or a jig or anything like that uh, it is basically a gift so um, he would write tunes for rich patrons who would put him up um, give him a nice meal and uh, pay him and um, basically he made a good living by travelling around the country and um, playing for his patrons and writing tunes for them. And this particular one was written for Colonel John Irwin of Tanrigo House in County Sligo around 1715. Um, it's often the case with um, O'Carolan tunes that um, you can't decide whether it's a, a, in 6-8 or in 3-4 um, it's usually easier to write them and read them in 3-4, um, which is what I've done here. Some of them, if you play them faster, um, sound more like jigs. And in fact, this tune is often played quite up-tempo. And Planksty, who recorded this in 1973, I think it was, they did it pretty up-tempo. Uh, so I'm treating this as a fast waltz, but you must remember it's not strictly a waltz because uh, the waltz wasn't invented at the time this was written. Um, this is not a kind of a session tune, uh, this is more of a solo performance type tune, as is the case with a lot of um, these tunes by O'Carolan. And it very much has a Baroque feel to it, so a particular type of ornamentation and a um, particular type of variation, as I'll show you towards the end, is often appropriate. But I'm going to give you three versions, the straight, uh, slow version, um, a ornamented version and then a, a more melodically decorated version. So let's start off with the basic melody with no ornaments and quite slow. One, two, three, two, two. <laughs> Now there's quite a few ornaments you can put on here, um, a lot of what I call hammer-ons, so first melody note, the D, you put a C sharp underneath it as a grace note and it's usually the next note down in the scale. For the next one, for the this note, I will do a double cut, so I'm doing two grace notes above, those two. Another hammer on, another hammer on, and uh, quite a lot of slides I do on this. And you could do uh, into the second. 
second half and we'll do a roll on the second bar. So... So here I'm doing a big slide and I, I always think of the pipes when I do these slides, which is what the pipes do so well. And then another double cut. Another double cut. could do a, a nice low A drone under the final um, D, which is another kind of pipey type sound. Uh, as with all on imitation, I think you should mix and match. Um, don't do the same every time. Um, just um, choose what uh, feels right on any particular phrase at the time. And if you repeat a phrase, try and do it slightly differently. Uh, I'll do it again, and uh, this time I'll do it with the backing and with the ornamentation. Finally, I'm going to do some um, more melodic ornamentation. At the time when O'Carolan was writing, it was the Baroque period, and he was um, kind of on the cusp between what we now call traditional music and what we would now call Baroque music. The separation between the two wasn't really the same at that time. And um, you can do quite a lot of Baroque-type movement on it. So. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's ever actually described this properly, but what I do is... That kind of thing. So I'm putting in quite a lot more notes and more movement than is actually in the melody. And um, if, if I'm improvising it as I was then, <laughs> I'm gonna, probably going to hit a few wrong uh, phrases, but um, I think the tune does liven up when you start to add in some extra little runs like that. So I'm going to play you out with a version that just plays like that. Uh, if you would like a copy of the dots, then do send me an email and subscribe. And incidentally, I'm doing a PDF collection of uh, O'Carolan tunes, which will be available free to all of my patrons on Patreon. So I do hope some of you will join me there. Uh, I've got quite a few other tune collections like this as well. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.